guys, it's Margie from the Easy Easel and we are going to paint the ocean painting today because let's be honest, that's where we all want to be right now. Um, I'm going to be showing you um, several different things that you can use if you don't have what you need in the house because supplies are limited right now. Um, we're going to be using blue and brown and white. I have a couple different types of browns here. If you just have a dark brown, you can always mix your white and brown to get a lighter brown. That's what we're going to be using today. Um, if you don't have paint brushes, um, I'm going to show you how we can use cotton balls. Maybe you have some of these foam brushes laying around, some toothpicks, and even the end of a pencil to paint with. Um, the great thing about today's session is you can take a break, you can pause, you can come back to it later in the day if you want to. Um, it's not like our regular sessions where you've got to get your painting done in an hour. So um, also have some music ready to go in the background. We love to paint with music. Um, so I'm going to give you a second to go ahead and gather your supplies, um, whether you're painting on a paper bag today or a canvas or a t-shirt stretched over a piece of wood or a, a wood plank. Um, go ahead and get that. Um, we like to use a, a jar or a cup for your water. Also, you're going to need some type of a paper towel. We don't have paper towels because there aren't any available in Boonville. So I'm going to be using these precious, precious tissues today. Um, but just go ahead and gather your paints, whatever you're going to be painting with, whatever you're going to be painting on, and maybe a paper plate or plastic um, plate with your paints on them. And we'll be back to paint in just a second. Okay, we're gonna get started. So I'm gonna be using a wider brush right now, but I'll show you in a second here. If you don't have a wide brush like this, what you can do. So I'm gonna start out with my light brown. Um, again, if you don't have light brown, just go ahead and mix brown and white together until you get the color that you want. You can see in the example here, it's pretty light. So you're gonna use a lot of white. Um, I'd start with that with your white and then touch in with um, some brown. Also, if you have um, water-based paint like house paint that's acrylic paint you can use that I'm about to run out of white paint so I'll have to dip into my white house paint in a little bit if um, if we get there so we're gonna go ahead and um, about three inches or so from the top of the canvas I'm going to create a brown line or a tan line here um, and it's gonna go about halfway across the canvas and then I'm going to start sweeping back and forth with that color, that brown color, to create my shoreline. So as you can see, I'm using the narrow part of my brush. So if you're using a, a skinny brush, um, something like this, um, you're, you're kind of an advantage here. So I'm going to sweep back and forth like this, just pulling some out further than others. Have to get more paint. And I'm going to do this all the way to the bottom of the canvas. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and fill that in with that lighter color. While you're doing that, if you, if you want to hang this right on the wall without framing it, you can go ahead and drag that paint over to the edge so that it gives a nice clean edge on your painting whenever you hang it. So this is where we're going to pause the video. You're going to pull up some music and you're going to go ahead and fill all of this in. You're going to drag paint into each of these little fingers of sand and fill all of this in all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so we're ready. We've got all of this filled in. I don't know if you noticed here, but I used to have a snowman up. We're even repurposing um, canvases here so we can um, stay indoors and not have to go shopping. So um, I'm going to add, we're going to add a little depth to the sand now to kind of give the appearance of um, some rippling and some dunes. Um, I've got a darker brown here. If you don't have a darker brown, you can add just the tiniest, tiniest touch of black. Um, black is very overpowering, so um, be careful with that. But I've got this darker brown. While this is still wet, um, I'm going to do a little bit of blending. So I'm just going to kind of uh, track a few lines of this brown up. I don't know if you can see that okay. Um, up on the wet paint. If yours dried already because you took a break, 
just add a little bit of the light brown to your brush and it'll blend on the canvas for you. But I'm just gonna kind of run my brush over that to soften some of those brown edges. It might take some over the tops of some of these little fingers of sand that I've put out into the water. And then I'm just gonna drag my brush across so that I blend that in. And you can see, um, if you work it too much, you're gonna lose that color altogether. So just kind of gently drag your brush across um, so you don't lose that. Now, I haven't washed my brush yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this into the water and wash it out really well. And I'm gonna squeeze my brush now with my tissue or your toilet paper, or God bless you if you have paper towels. Um, you're gonna use that and squeeze out all of that water because we don't want um, that dress brush to be wet. Now, I told you guys um, I was gonna show you how you could use um, cotton balls. You can do the same thing with your paint. Um, you can even, I'm gonna take a few um, trails out of sand here. So you can use this and just kind of pinch the end of the um, cotton ball and drag it across like that, and you can get some of those narrow um, sandbars that we're creating as well. Um, you can come, you can use the end of a pencil if you want to make it even narrower. Dip it into the um, the paint, and you can drag it across as well. This is going to take a little more time. You're going to have to be patient, but it is possible. Okay, um, so. I'm going to go ahead and put that over here. We have our clean brush. Now we're going to use one more color in our sand. Um, we're going to go ahead and dip into the white. I'm going to use the narrow side of my brush again. And I'm going to track some white into my sand and lighten this brown up a little bit. So again, um, you don't want to work that white too much because you'll just create, you'll lose the, you'll use, lose the um, highlights that we're trying to create. Think of it like highlights in your hair. So um, one thing you'll have to deal with if you're using the cotton balls is some residue. We don't have to pick that off, but. So we're just kind of streaking some of that white up into the sand. You can pause this anytime you need to stop and work on a step. Okay, so I'm going to give you a few minutes to work that brown and that white through your sand. Okay, I've cleaned out my brush again. I've squeezed all the water out of it, still using this big brush. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and dip into the blue this time. So I've just got one solid color blue. We're going to get different colors by adding white, but I'm going to go ahead and track the blue across the top of the brown right here. I'm going to go all the way across like that. Um, another thing is if you don't have an easel, um, I often paint with it just flat on uh, the table. Um, I do the easel so that it's easier for people to see, but I'm sometimes more comfortable with it flat on the table, so you can do that. Okay, so um, again, with the narrow side of your brush, and if you're using a small brush, that's great. You're gonna get um, some good coverage whenever you are trying to track blue into these little areas that we, um, we've created with our sand. So, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna fill all this in. I'm gonna use the wide part of my brush when I'm stroking this direction, but I'm going to track in with the narrow side of my brush when I'm going in with, um, into the little sandbars that we've created. So, um, let's look at the original here. When we do this, um, you're, we're gonna be heavy on this side with the blue. Um, we're going to do more of the white here. So let's, we're, we're going to have the heaviness up here with the blue, and then we're going to kind of leave some of it white as we come down. 
Um, so I'm going to leave this area white. Every once in a while I'm going to track a little bit further in with my blue. Notice how I'm going uh, wide and then I'm flipping my brush and pulling narrow. Again, if you um, want to keep a nice clean edge, just drag that blue over the edge of your canvas right here. Okay, so we're going to continue leaving white over here. Wide, flip to narrow. Wide and flip to narrow. Sometimes we'll see like um, little speckles of white from the canvas showing through. Um, that just means that you're not using enough paint. So just load your brush up with a little more paint when you see that happening. Okay, and um, our next step, we, you want the paint to be wet, so don't wait too long and let this to, um, dry. We want to wait for it to be wet. I'm going to let you guys finish just creating this kind of streaky look where you're pulling these narrow little strands of blue towards your sand. Okay, I have not washed off my brush. If you did, you can just touch um, your brush into the blue again. Um, and I am going to load up with white. So I've got white and blue on my brush. So now we're going to start doing some of this lighter blue. So I'm going to start inside of the little pockets of blue that I have here. And I really want this to be more of a, um, a light blue. So I'm going to keep loading my brush with that white. But I, now I'm going to, um, I'm using more of the narrow side and I'm pulling that light blue and white in towards the sand. I don't want to, um, I don't want to erase my little sandbars here. So I'm just tucking some water between each of them and dragging it into that blue that we've already put up onto the canvas. Some of it you can just, you can sweep right into the blue so we get a nice um, pale blue. We're blending. We don't want it to look like stripes or streaks. So if you start seeing that, just sweep your brush gently across to kind of softly um, pull those two colors together. Again, I'm using the corner of my brush or the side, the thin side of my brush. So this is where a lot of your sea foam is happening when it hits the shore. That's why we're, it's getting lighter as it comes closer to the shore. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm always going back and forth. Um, try not to put any diagonal strokes in there. That's, um, we want the movement of the water to stay consistent. Remember to keep plenty of paint on your brush so that you have a um, nice smooth finish. Okay, so um, now I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm not even gonna clean my brush off with water. I'm just gonna take my tissue and I'm just gonna pull some of that paint off there. So, um, and I'm gonna get into my white and I'm gonna put some little strokes of white just up and down right here across the shore line on the back half here. Streak some more towards the water. A little bit here on the shoreline some solid streaks of white over here to just give some appearances of waves. Okay, put a little bit more here. All right, 
The next thing we're going to do is the sky. So I'm going to give you guys a minute to finish this. If you need to rewind and go back over some of the steps, if I went too fast for you, you can do that. Okay, now we're going to work on the sky. So I didn't clean off my brush again. If you did, no big deal. I'm gonna dip into the white, but I've still got a little bit of blue on my brush. So you can just put the corner of your brush into some blue. We're going for a really pale blue here. Um, so I'm going to take the edge of my brush and just drag it along that horizon line. And um, at each time I pick up some white, I'll just put a little bit of blue on my brush so that I'm getting kind of a streaky look. We don't want it to be um, just a solid color. We want it to be streaky. We want to give it the appearance of, um, of clouds. So if, if your brush is like mine and it's getting pretty solid blue and that's all I'm getting out of it, um, again, I'm just going to take my um, tissue and wipe some of this off so that I can get some solid white back on my brush. And you can see that lightens it up right away. It's better to go lighter and then add in the blue if you need to. So I'm doing a lot of white here. I might have to dip into that house paint sooner than I think. Okay, so I've got my white up. Now I'm just gonna touch the corner of my brush. I don't know if you can see that. Touch the corner of my brush into um, the blue. And um, I kind of want it to be heavy up here in this corner with blue. So I'm gonna streak some of that blue across the top here. Maybe those are some storm clouds. While my white is wet in the background, I'm just gonna kind of twirl and twist my brush and then kind of taper it off like that. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I twisted and then pulled to the narrow edge just to give it a little movement in the clouds. Um, and then I drug, I didn't push, I just barely drug my dr brush across that wet paint to kind of um, soften up that, that line. You can do it again, just drag, pull, turn your brush in different directions and then gently drag your brush across it to soften it up. Okay, so um, there's our sky. So I have cleaned that brush off. I don't want any blue in it right now. I'm gonna get back into my white. We're just gonna put a little bit more white on the shore here, kind of where the water and the, um, and the sand meet. So I'm just gonna kind of brush, and again, I'm using the same, same brush, but you can switch over if you want to to something smaller. Um, and I'm not doing a whole lot here. I'm just kind of tracking um, some foam over because I don't want to lose these edges. Just tracking a little bit of white, especially down here in these um, little fingers. And um, so for this, if you want to create kind of a foamy look, you can um, pat like this. You're not working the water too or the um, paint too much, but. You're just tapping it up there. Kind of gives the illusion of some foam. Okay. Maybe a few more tracks of white in the sand. Just lighten it up a little bit. And then we're gonna go ahead and work on our person now. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put our person in but first we're gonna put in the shadow. If you don't have a fine brush like this one, um, you can use a toothpick or the end of a pencil. So um, we're going to, I'm gonna go ahead and get into that dark brown. Um, and we're gonna put the shadow up first. So you're gonna choose where you want your little person to be walking. I'm gonna put them right here. And I'm just gonna put a little dash. And then I'm gonna work that dash kind of diagonally, just back and forth. And then I'm going to put a diagonal line at the top of that dash. This is just their little shadow on the beach. Okay. Um, 
I did forget that we need just a little touch of black and red. If you don't have black and red, that's totally fine. We can use the dark brown. Um, you can use, if you have purple or blue, um, it's just a little contrast. I'm gonna have him zoom in on that person right here. Um, there's just a little contrast of color here um, to, um, to kind of just make that person pop out of the picture. And then if you'll pause it for a second while I get that black and red. And we're back with the black and red. So um, I'm using a toothpick. You can use a, t a really fine um, point brush. You may find that you like this better than a brush. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to track just the finest line. I don't, I don't know if you can see that all right. Um, Across the top of that shadow just to deepen it and darken it a, a little bit just right that's where the darkest part is gonna be right underneath that person and then um, we're gonna start out small and then we'll widen um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just put a line here this is the, the, the leg and then I'm gonna widen it more towards the hips here. So it's like a little triangle on the top. You just have to keep dipping into your paint there. Okay, so it's just a single line and then it widens a little bit. If you wanna make your person a little larger, you just make everything a little bit bigger. Try, to, try not to make their, their hips too wide. We don't want them to be disproportionate. There's nothing wrong with wide hips. We just want the person to look proportionate. Um, I'm going to drag that back leg just out just a little bit more there so it looks like they're kind of walking in the distance. Okay, and then we're going to switch to red. So I'm just going to wipe either your toothpick or your paintbrush off. Um, I don't have to clean it in the water. I'm just going to wipe that paint off. I'm going to get into my red paint. And they're going to have a red shirt. So I'm going to go ahead and just create a little box of red on the top here. Um, and then just kind of give a little illusion of an arm on the side here. Maybe they're kind of jogging so you only see the back side of their elbow. Um, so you have just the tiniest little bumps on both sides of your little box. Okay, um, I'm going to dip right into the black because um, black is very overpowering so I don't have to really clean my brush off. And I'm going to put a little head on here. Now, maybe this is a guy, maybe this is a girl, maybe this is a guy with long hair, I don't know. Um, I'm not making it a perfect circle, I'm just kind of tapping the paint up here. If you want them to have long hair, you can kind of drag it down the back a little bit. Okay, and we're going to work on one more little shadow here, and then it's done. Um, but... If you want to add some words, um, one of my favorite songs is called Oceans. Um, you can look up lyrics, you could put some type of a quote here, something to remind you of this time that we're um, enduring right now. You certainly can do that. Sometimes I like to do that later when it's dry with a Sharpie because I have a little more control, um, but you're welcome to do that as well. So um, we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna continue to use this small brush um, and I'm going to take um, that dark brown paint and I'm going to just slightly extend that shadow a little bit. Um, I'm going to blend it with some of that lighter brown underneath. And then maybe just darken some of these areas around her. She walks, just give it a little depth. Okay, and there we have it. You have painted the ocean painting. Hopefully it made you feel like you were there for a few minutes. And if you are interested, we've got some other paintings you can look at. There's a t-shirt one that's great for kids. Um, get an old t-shirt that maybe is stained up and you can try it out. We also have a jean pocket painting, which you could do on canvas too. If you wanted to, you like the, the painting, but you don't necessarily want it on your pants, you can do it on a canvas as well. I hope you enjoyed.